And I'm Dori Marlin. As family and friends prepare to say goodbye to former Governor Mario Cuomo downstate, the capital region is remembering the man who spent three terms in Albany. He passed away yesterday at the age of 82. Flags fly at half staff today across the state. The American flag and the New York state flag both lowered halfway atop the Capitol building in Albany. And then this one flying above the Empire State Plaza as well. The former governor's death from heart failure forcing his son and current governor Andrew Cuomo to postpone his state of the state address. Originally it was scheduled for next week. It will now be held on Wednesday, January 21st. Now during his three terms in office, Governor Cuomo lived at the governor's mansion in Albany, the last governor to live there full time. He was a familiar face around the city. I remember he used to love to run and relax in Lincoln Park on the weekends. And as Roman Catholics, he and his family were often seen at two local churches. Kimberly Howard is live in our Capitol newsroom tonight. And Kimberly, how exactly is the Catholic community remembering him tonight? Well, Greg Dory, as a man who had a deep faith in God, but because of that, someone who at times found himself conflicted between church and state. A short walk from the executive mansion, a sanctuary for the family of former governor Mario Cuomo. He would always take, uh, you know, a, a low key uh, position. He would not, uh, he would not try to distract. Father William Pape says Mario was a man of deep faith and while he'd worship at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception on Christmas and Easter, even making a cameo on his most recent birthday, most Sundays in Albany, he could be found here at the historic St. Mary's Church. Probably because uh, he was an early riser and they had a 7 o'clock Mass on Sunday morning. Sunday mornings for Mario Cuomo didn't only consist of prayer. People often saw him walking the dogs around the neighborhood or jogging in Lincoln Park. Leading the pack was uh, Governor Cuomo. Uh, so it, staff, security, whatever. But he, he was in the lead. But he was also conflicted when it came to his faith in God and his responsibilities to uphold the law. And he tried to reconcile his personal opposition to abortion with his responsibility to follow Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision. Still never a conflict in his dedication to helping those in need. He saw government as the last resort for the poor, the powerless, and the marginalized. And during his governorship, services to the poor and needy expanded tremendously. I will always remember him as a man who never forgot his immigrant roots or his working class roots. And I think that he will be remembered as one of the great public servants of the 20th century. And one thing Bishop Hubbard also tells me about Cuomo, he loved to debate, sometimes just for the sake of debate. He says he was always open to criticism and always encouraged dissenting opinions. Dory.